I came out in 1994 and it was here in Salt Lake City. Um, I had already moved here and had started a career here. And um, it was a very scary time. It was a scary time for most people. Uh, most people were not out. In fact, there was a call across the country back then for people to come out, to become visible, to be um, in a space that really challenged people in their mindset because everyone knew somebody gay, but nobody knew that person was gay. And uh, it, was, it was not an easy time. Not easy. The hiding is so hard and saying things with certain pronouns and trying to avoid conversations so you wouldn't have to disclose what you did over the weekend. And, you know, I, it was hard. It was, a, it was a tremendous burden to try and live two lives. And it was also a tremendous burden to not value who I was myself, like not just fully embrace who I was and just be me and not worry about what other people thought. The work that's being done is really work that's being done for all people who have felt some oppression at some point. And, and what I'm trying to do is make sure that we weave into the fabric of how we operate as a city true support for everyone who, who wants to work for this city, um, true integration of uh, how diverse our community really is. It, is. it is pride elevated. It is pride for everyone. And what I'm hoping is that we can lay a foundation here in city government that really ripples out to all facets of how this city functions and our partners in this community that says everyone is welcome here. The other thing I will say is that fear, fear is crippling and you can't allow fear to make decisions for you. You have to figure out your path and surround yourself with people who will support you. Um, don't surround yourself with people who are grabbing at you and don't want you to be who you really are. At the end of the day, that's not a true friend, right? So you, you have to navigate it. There's no doubt. But you have to also understand the power of self-love. And that silence is crippling. Not only you and your path forward, but others around you. And again, we're at that place where you have to find a way to accept who you are and embrace that. And why not? You're beautiful just the way you are.